The Step Pyramid of Djoser stands as a testament to the ingenuity of ancient Egyptian architects. Located at Saqqara, it is the oldest known pyramid in Egypt. This architectural marvel dates back to the 27th century BCE, during the reign of Pharaoh Djoser of the Third Dynasty. The Step Pyramid was a groundbreaking achievement in ancient Egyptian architecture. It marked a pivotal moment in the development of pyramid construction. The Step Pyramid would pave the way for the iconic, smooth-sided pyramids of later dynasties. Before the construction of Djoser's Pyramid, tombs of Egyptian pharaohs were flat-topped rectangular structures called mastabas. Imhotep, the brilliant architect of Djoser, conceived of stacking progressively smaller mastabas on top of one another. This resulted in the step-like structure that gives the pyramid its name. The step pyramid thus represents a pivotal transition from the mastaba to the true pyramid form. It is a symbol of the architectural innovation that characterized the Old Kingdom period in Egypt. The step pyramid is a remarkable structure, comprising six stacked layers or steps. These steps decrease in size as they ascend, creating the iconic stepped silhouette. The base of the pyramid measures approximately 358 feet by 411 feet, and its original height was about 203 feet. This impressive size reflects the power and ambition of Pharaoh Djoser, for whom it was built. The pyramid's core is constructed from local limestone blocks. These blocks were not as precisely cut as those used in later pyramids. The blocks were laid in horizontal courses and held together with a mud mortar. Despite its age, the step pyramid has remarkably withstood the ravages of time. Its sturdy construction is a testament to the skill of its ancient builders. Beneath the imposing structure of the step pyramid lies a complex network of underground tunnels and chambers. This subterranean labyrinth descends deep into the earth and is a marvel of ancient engineering. These tunnels were carved out of the bedrock and incorporated into the pyramid's design. They served a variety of purposes, both practical and symbolic. One of the primary functions of the underground complex was to house the burial chamber of Pharaoh Djoser. This chamber, located at the bottom of a deep shaft, was intended to protect the pharaoh's remains and grave goods for eternity. The tunnels also contained numerous storage rooms. These rooms were stocked with provisions, treasures and other items that the pharaoh might need in the afterlife. Surrounding the step pyramid is a large rectangular trench carved out of the bedrock. This trench measuring approximately 750 feet by 1,600 feet is an intriguing feature that has puzzled archaeologists for decades. Its exact purpose remains a subject of debate, but several theories have been proposed. One theory suggests that the trench served as a symbolic moat, it represented the waters of chaos that the ancient Egyptians believed surrounded the world. By enclosing the pyramid within this symbolic moat, they sought to protect the pharaoh's spirit from malevolent forces. Another theory proposes that the trench was used during the construction process. It may have been a quarry from which stone was extracted for the pyramid. The hydraulic lift hypothesis, an ingenious solution, or a modern myth. The construction of the step pyramid, with its massive stone blocks, has led to much speculation about the methods employed by the ancient Egyptians. One theory that has captured the imagination of many is the hydraulic lift hypothesis. This theory proposes that the Egyptians used water power to lift and position the heavy stones. The hydraulic lift hypothesis is based on the idea that the Egyptians could have built dams and canals to divert water from the Nile River. By channeling this water into a system of chambers and levers, they could have generated the force needed to raise the massive stones. While this theory is intriguing, there is no direct archaeological evidence to support it. Many scholars believe that the ancient Egyptians relied on more traditional methods, such as ramps, levers, rollers, and sheer manpower, to build the pyramid. Building Blocks of History Contrasting Djoser's Stones with Later Pyramids The stone blocks used in the construction of the Step Pyramid differ significantly from those used in later pyramids. Djoser's Pyramid was built with smaller, rougher-hewn blocks of local limestone, these blocks were not as precisely cut or fitted as the massive finely dressed stones used in later pyramids, such as those at Giza. The use of smaller, less refined blocks in the step pyramid reflects the early stage of pyramid construction. As Egyptian builders gained experience and developed more sophisticated techniques, they were able to quarry, transport, and shape larger and more precisely cut stones. This progression in stonework is evident in the evolution of pyramid design from the step pyramid to the smooth-sided pyramids of the later Old Kingdom. From Mastaba to Masterpiece, the evolution of an architectural icon. 
The Steppe Pyramid of Jose did not begin as a pyramid at all. It began as a mastaba, a traditional flat-topped rectangular tomb structure. However, Djoser's architect, Imhotep, had a much grander vision in mind. Over the course of the pyramid's construction, the mastaba was expanded and elaborated upon, eventually evolving into the stepped structure we see today. The transformation of the mastaba into the step pyramid is a testament to Imhotep's architectural genius. He conceived of stacking progressively smaller mastabas atop one another, creating the pyramid's distinctive stepped silhouette. This innovative design not only increased the pyramid's height, but also gave it a powerful symbolic dimension. The steps were seen as a stairway to heaven, allowing the pharaoh's spirit to ascend to the afterlife. Resourceful Innovation – Harnessing the Power of Nature in Ancient Egypt The construction of the step pyramid required not only architectural ingenuity, but also a deep understanding of the natural world and the ability to utilize its resources effectively. The ancient Egyptians were keen observers of their environment. They developed innovative techniques to harness the power of nature in their building projects. One example of this resourcefulness is the use of the Nile River for transporting the massive stone blocks used in the pyramid's construction. The Egyptians understood that the Nile's annual floods could be harnessed to their advantage. They built canals and channels to direct the floodwaters to the construction site. This allowed them to float the heavy stones on barges, greatly reducing the labor required for transportation. Unveiling the Past – New Discoveries and the Ever-Evolving Story of the Steppe Pyramid The Steppe Pyramid of Djoser continues to fascinate and intrigue archaeologists and historians today. New discoveries are constantly being made at the site, shedding light on the pyramid's construction, purpose and significance. Recent excavations have revealed previously unknown tunnels, chambers and artifacts, adding to our understanding of this ancient marvel. One significant discovery was the unearthing of a series of underground galleries located beneath the pyramid. These galleries were found to contain thousands of stone vessels, many of them inscribed with hieroglyphs. The vessels are thought to have been used in rituals associated with the pharaoh's burial, and are a testament to the richness and complexity of ancient Egyptian religious beliefs. Legacy of an Architectural Pioneer – Djoser's Enduring Impact on History the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser stands as a testament to the architectural genius of Imhotep and the ambition of Pharaoh Djoser. It marked a turning point in Egyptian architecture, paving the way for the development of the smooth-sided pyramids that have become synonymous with ancient Egypt. The Steppe Pyramid's innovative design and complex structure influenced generations of pyramid builders. Djoser's pyramid was also a symbol of royal power and authority. Its imposing size and grandeur reflected the Pharaoh's status as a divine ruler. The pyramid's construction was a massive undertaking, requiring the labor of thousands of workers over many years. It was a testament to the pharaoh's ability to command the resources of his kingdom and to organize large-scale construction projects. A journey through time, experiencing the wonder of the Steppe Pyramid. Today, the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a popular tourist destination. Visitors from around the world come to marvel at its ancient architecture and to learn about the fascinating history of ancient Egypt. Walking through the Steppe Pyramid Complex is like taking a journey through time. Visitors can explore the pyramid's exterior, admiring its stepped silhouette and the intricate details of its stonework. They can descend into the cool darkness of its underground tunnels and chambers, imagining the rituals and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. A visit to the Steppe Pyramid is an unforgettable experience one that offers a glimpse into the ingenuity, artistry, and spiritual beliefs of one of the world's oldest civilizations.